I'm Tricia Loby Smith. I have what's called juvenile star guard macula dystrophy. I am one of six children. I have two brothers and a sister and myself that have it. It was Phil, it skipped Jackie, it hit Betty, myself, and Paul, and then my sister Kathleen's the youngest and she does not have it. When I was first diagnosed with star guards, originally my mom and dad would take me to the eye doctor and I was probably, you know, age eight, nine years old. And uh, the first eye doctor, his notes said that I was just an obstinate child who refused to read the eye chart. You see these patients that have macular disease, optic nerve disease. In today's environment, we're basically able to prevent a lot of blindness, but diseases such as Stargardt's, which the Loby family is afflicted with, is a disease we don't have a cure for. Phil was the first to be diagnosed, and my mom said that she went to the regular eye doctor, and the doctor would say, you need to take them to a low vision clinic. I would tell my friends, hey, when you meet my brothers and sisters, when they're talking to you, if they're not looking at you directly, it's because that's how they have to look at you to be able to try to see you. In the past, when I've had patients go out and, and buy a low vision device, it's either been like a large computer type device that sits on a tabletop, so they've kind of been somewhat immobile with that. It's been very difficult for them to learn how to use it. So for them to find a device that actually is gonna give them improved vision, it it's just shows a lot of hope. When my brother told me about these goggles, I said, eh, you know, let's, let's give them a shot. When I looked at the reading chart and saw the big E, and then they flipped the chart to the next graphic, and before you know it, I think he mentioned 2040 vision. It was pretty amazing to be able to see like that. My uncle was like, well, we can come out and demo it. So on a Friday one day, they came, visited me while my students were out. But the real test really came when my students were walking up the stairs. My classroom's on the second story. And we were outside on the balcony looking over and I could see my students like naming them in line, their faces and their reactions of like, she can see us. It was just amazing. Paul had told me how well Ashley was doing in her classroom environment. For her to find a device that has actually worked, it's, it's just very heartwarming when you see somebody's life changed by a device like this. The very first time that I actually got my goggles, I had my two cousins, Roberta and Lisa, there. And as soon as I pushed the sticky out button and saw my cousins' faces, sorry, it was pretty incredible. Um, because normally, yeah, I have to get up close and personal. And so that night, um, I went into my washing machine and I had no idea how many settings I had on my washer until I put on my iris goggles. I mean, the things that sighted people take for granted was now just, <sighs> sky's the limit. A whole new life opened up for me because of the fact that I could actually see things. I'm gonna have my first grandchild in June and I can hardly wait to put my goggles on and be able to see her face fully. That is like a true blessing. Once putting on Iris Vision, I was hooked from that moment on. I've used my Iris Vision glasses at football games, the theater, take them to Costco so I can see price tags. It was almost like, wait a second, so you're telling me I don't have to hold binoculars and put them down, pick them up, put them down, pick them up. For me, it has now and forever changed the way I watch my college football games and my arms weren't tired from holding binoculars back and forth and it was, for me, it was just a great experience. There's days that my eyes are tired and I want to be able to read what the mail is or maybe read a recipe. The great part about the iris reader is being able to take a picture of it and then it immediately reads it back. Then the photo gallery I really like because I've taken pictures of our dog and been able to go back and look at her and, and go, oh, so that's really what she looks like, you know, so that's kind of awesome. The thing that I am so thankful for with Iris Vision, my mom is still alive to see her children see again. And that is so incredible. 